And uh, you know, just uh, and I don't think I have time to go through the, an, another old example. So let me give you a simple one. And a lot of bug we find is very tricky. It spend a lot of effort to exploit. But on the other hand, you know, just uh, and uh, they are indeed valuable, and uh, they are exportable. The reason I'm saying that is because we export that and we get there and we get free stuff. But of course, we did it in a very ethical way. You know, just under the supervision of a school lawyer. Once we have it done, then we, you know, just we talk to. We will talk to those web store, help them fix all the bug, return all the stuff. So here's another example, you know, just and the uh, interspice integration of Google Checkout. So what's happened here, you know, again, the things are very complicated, but it's very easy to understand. What happened is, you know, just and um, and you have uh, this shopping cart, right? And you put all the stuff into shopping cart, click a button. And once you click that button, an order is generated according to the content in the shopping cart. And then you will be redirected to Google, you know, Google Checkout, and and, and and to do the payment, right? You know, just and the, but but the problem here is we found that the a malicious shopper, and once click the button generate generate this order, they can hold on to that order for a while, then add new stuff into shopping cart, you know, just and once you did that and go to Google Checkout and 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 do the payment, and Google will notify the, the web store, right? The web store will thought, will think, you know, just whatever inside the shopping cart has been paid. So not only include the things, you know, just and, and before you click the button, generate the order, but include everything, you know, just after you even up, you even include the things you put into the bucket after you click the button. So 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 it's in computer science it's called time to check, time of check, time of use problem, right? It's a distributed time of check, time of use problem, tactile problem, but it happened in this setting. And we look at a lot of web store, you know, just and and the problem is so pervasive, and uh, you know, just and in many cases, you know, just and uh, we never we pick up integration of web service and we take close look at it, and, uh, and there's there's a big chance we can find some loophole there, uh, you know, just and we notify all these web store and fix the problem. But you know, let me tell you, it is those things is very very difficult to get right. Here's a, here's something you know, just an example of the message we communicate with Byte.com. We get something from buy.com for free. We pay nothing. <laughs> but, 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 but we are not safe. We are scientists. And, and, and we are trying to help them to fix the problem. So what we did is, and my students tell them, you know, just actually, we get something from your, your store, right? You know, just, and, and, but we want to pay for that. So, so this is what buy.com sent to us. Basically, it tells us, you know, just don't worry. You pay by credit card. Just wait a few days. The bill will show up on your you know, in, in your credit, credit, card, credit card, you know, just bill. And my, then my students go back and tell them, you know, just, and actually we did some experiment, and we, we, we identify some loophole in your system, we exploit it, and we get some free stuff. And now we're willing to pay for that. Please charge us. And, and so, so this is by the council response. Basically, what they said is, according to our record, you were billed, you are paid. <laughs> they check that record, and what they found is, is well paid. So, so it becomes very difficult to convince them that we own them some money. <laughs> and you know the problem here. Just because of this software as a service and this distributed structure, right, it is very difficult to get everyone on the same page. So in this particular case, by the account, themselves, they look at their record. It's perfect. You know, we indeed pay, nothing happened. You know, you, you're looking at a paper. The record is perfect, we indeed paid. Only when these two parties sit together, looking at their record together, looking at their relation, they can find out a problem. But, but you know, just you can imagine, they're not, going, they're not gonna do these things every day. <laughs> I, I even doubt that they will do these kind of things every month. Before they can do that, they will not find anything. <laughs> you know, just, so it is, this happened just because the problem introduced by the crowd introduced by this multiple party communication and a very complicated computing environment. Right. So you know, just, uh, uh, you know, just in this particular you know, case, and in the end, finally we convinced them the bad thing need to happen. Right? We return the stuff and help them fix the bug, so everyone is happy. Uh, and all the bug I just mentioned has been fixed. Don't try to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Okay. Uh, so, so, so the you know just uh, and in the end, what I'm going to talk about is cloud indeed and uh, present to us a lot of new security challenge, and particularly in the software as a service layer, and it's so different. Uh, you know, just uh, the program, even if it have the same functionality as what running in your in your desktop, but the structure is completely different. It breaks the program into multiple pieces. So some run in your browser, some in, run in one cloud, and some run in the other cloud, right? And in this case, if you develop this type of program, and just just like what you are you are you are, you are doing to the desktop program, right? Then we, you will be in trouble. Because and, and and they have a different structure, they have a they have a different security demand, right? So you know, just the most important things here is you need to come up with a new way and you know just and and a new technique and to comp to upgrade the you know just and develop the software engineering for their you know just and uh, for the program development and when it come to web application software as a service, right? If you don't do that, and uh, you know, just uh, you will be you will, you will be surprised. You will be surprised in a bad way. Right. <laughs> and uh, you know, just uh, and ourselves made some you know just a step forward on this direction, and uh, and we come up with technique to uh, for automatically you know just uh, detect and the side channel loophole and quantify the amount of information that can be leaked out, leaked out from the side channel. And, uh, and recently, we are also working on the technique which can help you, can protect your software from, the, from you know, just explore on the vulnerable integration and, uh, and the integration just and, the, and, the, and the you had with, other, with the, the third party API, just like you know, just a payment API and a single sign API. But the most important things, always keep in mind, and if you develop some software for the cloud, it is different. And uh, you, you know, the security and the privacy challenge is different. You shouldn't trade it just like a desktop program, right? You know, it, it have a completely different feature. 